So I'm about to visit the UK for the holidays and I haven't done this type of video at all. So why not do one of these video? I guess it seems fun. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today we're discussing what's in my camera backpack, especially for when I travel. Like I said earlier, I'm traveling to the UK, specifically London for a couple weeks and then heading to Scotland for a few days. And because of this, I'm going to need to pack some stuff into my camera bag in it. So this is my bag of choice right here. This is the Peak Design 30 liter backpack. Now I hate this backpack. I think this backpack is super durable. I had this backpack for almost two years now and I like how rugged it is. But using this backpack for my Fujifilm system, I just find there's just so, there's just too many spaces. These cameras and lenses are just too small for a bag like this. So every time I'm carrying it, I can hear my lenses moving around around the bag, especially the F2 lenses, like the 35 millimeter F2 and the 50 millimeter F2. It just dangles and just floats around in there. It just shuffles around. And I think this bag does not maximize their space well. I also own the Brevity backpack right here and this is like my second bag that I purchased from them. I don't know what the hell happened. Like the wear and tear on this bag is just pretty. The first backpack I did, uh, I, I bought the top handle, the handle right here. Uh, started to rip the seam started to rip and um, I guess you know I stuffed my backpack with uh, gear and then sometimes I would put a, a laptop in that as well right so I guess it's too heavy it's too heavy for uh, that weight and it's just ripped so I bought a second one of this brevity backpack and I don't like this backpack too like it looks nice it looks nice functionality wise it's just pads and the dividers are just broken like it doesn't even stick on anymore like I can't even get my Fujifilm X-H2 to stay in that spot. It just like floats, it just like breaks and then everything just gets sunken. And yeah, if you guys have any recommendations that are not these bags or like the Wandered bags or the Peak Designs or the Peter McKinnons, I prefer a backpack that is not obvious, a camera bag that doesn't look like a camera bag. That's why I like the uh, Brevity uh, type of bag. If you guys know any, let me know in the comments section below because I, I would greatly appreciate that. I've been searching online for some and I, every time I find a bag, there's always a flaw to them. That makes me not want to get it. But besides that little rant I did just there, I chose the Peak Design because it's sturdy and it's reliable and it's durable. I can toss this around when I'm traveling long distance and, will, and nothing will happen inside. Besides its poorly designed bag, I'd say it's been solid when it comes to material. But enough about the bag, let's get into what you really wanna know and that is the gear that I'm gonna bring. So I'm having a hard time whether I should bring one X-H2 cameras or bring an, or both bring both the X-H2 and the X-H2S. All I need is one camera and one backup with me. And I wanna bring the X-S10 as a backup. That's going to be in my bag as well because it's small and it's lightweight and it doesn't add that much to um, the weight. Regardless, one or both of the X-H2 and X-H2S is coming with me on this trip. Now it's just a matter of, do I wanna make more videos or photos? It's so hard deciding when my brain works uh, in a weird way. It keeps everything compartmentalized. If I decide to do video, that's all I can do. I can't shoot photos and vice versa. This is something that I need to work on and it's freaking hard. And like I said, I'm gonna bring the Fujifilm X-S10 along for its form factor. I also love the grip on this thing. This could be the camera that I bring out when I'm strolling, on, uh, strolling the Christmas market in London or just strolling around town really it's it's small it's inconspicuous it's light and the lenses that I'm gonna bring is the obviously the Fujifilm 18 to 120 millimeter f4 and now this is the ultimate travel lens I like it because it's so versatile it covers a lot of focal uh, focal ranges so I don't need to constantly switch and it makes it so easy uh, to get a shot and it's lightweight because of its size I, I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier than what it is uh, when I picked it up I, I was just amazed by how light it is. It's lighter than the 16 millimeter, 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8. That's a surprise right there. This lens makes video look really, really good. The autofocusing is great with this lens and the images that I get out of this lens is just great for video. And after that, I'm gonna bring my Voigtlander 23 millimeter f1.2 to play around with. I'm gonna walk through the ends of London. So I need something to attach to my Fujifilm X-S10. I don't wanna draw attention to myself. Uh, this lens is not bad. The digital contacts is a nice touch. A review is coming 
coming soon, guys. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that review. I'm also going to bring the XF 33mm f1.4 if I need a fast autofocusing lens. And I think I'm going to bring as well the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 just for the vlogging scenarios if I decide to vlog this Lawa 10mm f4 cookie lens. I haven't used this lens at all yet, but I figured since I'm going to London and there's going to be some cool modern buildings, I can take pictures. Uh, I can take I can take pictures of it with this ultra wide lens that I got. And then I have to bring my memory cards and the, the Sony card reader to read my CF Express cards. And I'm also going to bring a couple of SSD drives just in case. Shooting with the Fujifilm X-H2 now brings in a lot of data, guys. You guys got those 40 megapixel files that eats away your storage. And then you add in the 8K video as well. And you have to pack a lot of these SSD drives just to offload your content. And then obviously I'm going to bring some ND filters. Now I got this Freewell variable ND filters I'm slowly not a fan of. I'm regretting getting them in a mist edition. It just makes my footage look too soft. The 1 to 4 stop versus the 5 to 9 stops are at different bloom effect. I believe the 1 to 4 stop is at 1 8th of a mist and the 5 to 9 stops is at 1 1 quarter of a mist. So it gives an inconsistent look and that's why I have this uh, KNF variable ND filter I've been using. I've been using this filter a lot more and I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot more. I haven't found any weird color shifting or any cross pattern. The footage that I get looks great in my opinion with this ND filter. And it's quite affordable compared to the other variable ND filters on the market. And so far I have zero complaints about the ND filters. And yeah, these filters are going to be used for filming videos. You know I gotta get that 180 degree shutter angle down, right? So we can get some of that cinematic looking footage. I'm also bringing this GoPro to maybe film some behind the scenes footage. Or when I'm too lazy to take out the X-H2, this, this GoPro it makes it a lot easier to just pull out and it draws less attention to myself. And you guys know that I'm originally from Toronto. I'm from the city where like I've encountered some crazy people before. I've uh, been attacked before because I let my guard down. That was like a long, long time ago. But ever since then, there's just a bit of paranoia everywhere I go. I'm always scanning the room. I'm always looking for suspicious looking characters. And I don't know if you guys have heard about the recent robbing in San Francisco, but the photographers and the videographers are getting targeted for their camera gear. So shit like that makes me nervous and San Francisco has become a shithole. It's such a shame that this is happening to the community. So saying that, I try to stay vigilant as I can and that's why I like to be inconspicuous. That's why I like backpacks that don't look like camera backpacks and shit like that. And that's why I like smaller looking cameras and, and all that stuff. So the less attention onto me, the better. And for a tripod, I'm going to I'm going to bring this PGY Tech Mantis pod. Now it's good for vlogging. It has a good halo to carry my X-H2 and a wide lens. And I don't have much uh, complaints about this tripod. It's been very helpful whenever I travel to places. And that's all I'm going to bring to the UK, guys. If you guys are interested in any of the items, I'll leave the links down to it uh, down in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, guys, where I do Fujifilm and photography related content on this channel. And as always, my name is Tung. I'm wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Stay safe. And hey, 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 save some of that eggnog for me, guys. <laughs> I love you guys. Korean heart. Korean heart.